Well, the Attorney General of the United States, Merrick Garland, has ordered federal agents to investigate parents who dare to complain about their school boards. In particular, parents are no longer allowed to say anything when creepy adults sexualize their children. Come to my van, little girl. I've got some candy. Don't say a word. But that has not kept some parents quiet. In San Diego County, California, one mother, called Brittany Mayer, noticed that her school board was supposed to be educating her children, had instead invited them to a, quote, family-friendly drag show sponsored by a San Francisco gender reassignment surgery center and a nightclub. Here's what she said at a recent meeting of the Encinitas Union School Board, which promoted the event. What is it about a grown man costumed in a sparkly bra with augmented boobs busting out a leather miniskirt barely covering his twerking ass with tuck tape on his front while spreading his fish netted legs as he writhes on the ground grinding his groin next to a minor mm, family on. friendly you owe us an answer we have a culture that has a massive problem with child porn with sex trafficking you a little school district board of adults made the decision to feature an event to hypersexualize young children. Do you want to know that the word that defines that? It's groomer. You all played the activist pimp for an aligned surgical center and for a 21 plus gay bar. It makes you groomers and activist pimps and we won't have those sitting on a school board who oversees the education of our children. Brittany Mayer was not arrested, apparently, because she's joining us tonight, and we're glad that she is. Brittany, thanks so much for coming on. Um, so <laughs> this is the school that's supposed to be educating your kids, and they're sexualizing your kids. How did you find out about this? So the Union School District took it upon themselves to send out the invitation to all families in Encinitas, and uh, they actually have, it's interesting, they have an approval process that they violated. It says in their rules of conduct that they can't send out anything that is lewd, that is political, that is controversial. And they decided to send out a boobash invitation that is sponsored by a gender reassignment clinic out in San Francisco and a 21 plus gay nightclub in San Diego. So to say we were confused would be an understatement. What does this have to do with educating your children? Well, that's a really good question, Tucker. And we asked the board again and again to reconsider and to issue an apology and an explanation, which they didn't, which is why we decided to show up. And I want to make it really clear that this is not a, an isolated incident. This is coming to every school across the nation. And if you think that it's just going to stay in California, you're dead wrong. This is coming everywhere. And it's why we stood up and we said, we're going to nip this in the bud. We're not going to play by the rules that we're supposed to be afraid that we're going to be punished if we don't speak up now. And I hope that this breeds courage for parents all over the nation who see this, this trend starting to change where, like you just said, our kids aren't being educated in the fundamentals. They're being hypersexualized. And we are done with this. How is this different from pedophilia? Do you know? Say that again. How is this different from pedophilia? Well, it sounds like it's one and the same. And, you know, I, that's why I made it really clear that you can slap labels on anything. You can make anything family friendly that you want. And that's the danger of this ideology is that we're being told to use new terms and new language, which is I think we do a disservice when we play by those rules. We need yes. to stand up and use the words as the words the words that we know what they mean and what those adults are doing is they're pimping out our kids to gender reassignment clinics and they're pimping them out to 21 plus nightclubs and like i said it's coming all over the nation and we need to now use brave words and words with meaning and call it like it is yeah i mean i just have sat in awe and watched passive parents let creepy adults sexualize their children and it's just so gratifying to see someone say enough so thank you.